The Houston Texans will go to the New England Patriots on Saturday, January 14th for the evening AFC Divisional Playoff game. The Patriots are a huge 15-point favorite in this matchup. It's going to be very interesting to see where this number closes. Under regular circumstances, taking north of two touchdowns in a playoff game should be an automatic play. But believers in the Houston Texans are few and far between. Houston entered the playoffs with a negative point differential. They won a glorified pillow fight over the Oakland Raiders with two awful starting quarterbacks and less than 500 total yards. The teams combined to go 6 of 31 on third down. So you can see why New England is favored by so much. The Texans did cover the four-point number, and the game managed to go over the total. Brock Osweiler got a start under his belt in the playoffs, but he was just 14 of 25 for 168 yards and a touchdown with no interceptions. To be fair, Osweiler showed a little bit of poise and a couple of scrambles, no sacks taken, and no turnovers. To upset a better team on the road, the underdog cannot turn the football over. Osweiler took care of the football after losing his job, and he deserves credit for that. It may just be a scheme thing, but the fact that Lamar Miller ran the ball 31 times for just 73 yards is really concerning for this Houston offense. DeAndre Hopkins has five catches for 67 yards in the score, and he'll have to have a standout game for Houston to entertain an upset. The nice thing is that those who want to bet the Texans are leading 15-0 before the game even starts. The burden for this team falls on the defense, though. Everyone knows that the Texans' offense won't provide a whole lot of assistance against the Patriots. New England's defense is strong every season, but the presence of Tom Brady really overshadows the contributions on that side of the ball. Say what you will about the Texans lucking out with Connor Cook instead of Derek Carr, but they may life hell for Cook with three interceptions, three sacks, additional hurries, and only three yards per carry allowed. Romeo Crennel had his defense ready to play, and Jadavion Clowney made a highlight real play to set the tone early. Even without J.J. Watt, this is a strong Houston defense that can manage to keep the game close. The secondary is strong, with several quality cover corners, and the front seven is good enough to defend those quick routes. Head coach Bill O'Brien is a Bill Belichick disciple, so he's going to know what the Patriots want to achieve. On the Patriots' side, New England wrapped up their regular season 14-2 straight up, 13-3 against the number, including going 10-2 against the spread record with Tom Brady at the helm. It's really hard to do that against inflated lines. Reporting on this playoff game sort of feels like trying to apply a lot of frosting to a dry cake in hopes of making it palatable. The Patriots hammered the Texans 27-0 earlier this season, and the services of Tom Brady were not even available for that game. Tom Brady is one of two choices for the NFL MVP this season, with the other being Matt Ryan. Brady is 22-9 as the starting quarterback in his playoff career, with a 56-28 touchdown and interception ratio and a 62.38% completion rate. This is his first crack since he completed less than 50% of his passes against the Broncos last season. Brady hadn't lost a home playoff game since 2011, and that one wasn't his fault. As outstanding as Tom Brady is, LeGarrette Blount might be the biggest weapon for the New England Patriots here. Blount only finished with 3.9 yards per carry, but he crossed the goal line 18 times, and the Texans do have some issues stopping the run. The Patriots are finally as healthy as they're going to be. Rob Gronkowski is still out, but Julian Edelman and Martellus Bennett have been nursing injuries and have now had their much needed bye week to get better. As mentioned, nobody talks about how good the New England defense is. The Patriots have not only allowed just 5.2 yards per play this season, but they have held opponents to a 61.7% completion rate. They allowed less than four yards per carry. The last two times these teams have played, the Patriots have allowed 284 yards and 189 yards. So it appears that the teacher knows more than the pupil. Belichick and his staff have a lot of experience defending the things that O'Brien wants to run. And it has shown in the last two meetings. It's easy to look at this game as a giant mismatch, because it is. But it's hardly a lock that the Patriots will blow out the Texans. The New England Patriots may pack this thing away early in the second half if they have a big lead in order to get ready for the winner of the Pittsburgh vs. Kansas City game. There are a lot of other factors aside from a power rating 
and the expectation of Patriots money. This game may not be that cut and dry. You have to ask yourself how many points the Texans need to score to cover this big number and whether or not they can do it. Houston had scoring drives of 8 yards, 4 yards, and 53 yards in the win over Oakland. The underrated stat that makes New England so good is that they regularly win the field position battle. If Brock Osweiler and the Texans are forced to go 70 plus yards on every possession, that's how this game could get ugly quickly. That seems like the most likely scenario to happen. Houston is also just two and six straight up away from home and going out in the elements, especially with cold temperatures and snowflakes in the forecast, could be a problem as well. Our pick and prediction is for the New England Patriots at minus 15.